Howdy and welcome back to the Hollywood School for a new story. So this story is about the show, Man vs. B Season 1, starring Rowan Atkinson as Trevor Bingley, Jing Lucy as Nina Colstead and India Fowler as Maddie, and etc. So let's start the story. A couple, named Nina and Christian, while going for a vacation, hire a fresh house sitter, Trevor whom they show their precious belongings and a manual to control their smart mansion. Before leaving, they say that the lock and unlock codes are the years of famous naval battles and in case of any mistake only Nina's voice can control it. Soon, Trevor finds himself troubled with a bee and accidentally breaks a sculpture. Wondering, he tries ways to fix it while learning the controls for kitchen cabinets, where he also finds a soup tin. Instead, he mistakenly leaves the manual on the burning stove while getting distracted by the couple's pet dog, Cupcake, who is messing inside the locked library while chasing the bee. As the library was a no-entry zone for the dog due to containing an illuminated manuscript. Since Trevor does not remember the codes to unlock, he tries breaking the glass, but the hammer he uses bounces off of the glass and tears a nearby painting. He then starts mimicking Nina's voice and tries different codes until the library unlocks. He realizes the mess has been made so he apparently fixes all of it and then cleans the library. Wanting to share about his new job, he keeps sending voicemails to his daughter, Maddie, until she finally calls at night and reminds him of going away with him the next day, as she has been living with her mother, Jess, who is a divorcee. After the call, he goes to sleep in the maid room but sees the bee's shadow in the door. As he opens the door to get the bee, the emergency alarm activates as he has not used the code. Next morning, Trevor wakes up for breakfast but is interrupted by a police officer who asks about the emergency alarm. While he tries to clarify the situation to officer, he's disturbed by the bee inside his pants which intrigues the officer as well. As the officer leaves, he packs the pants thinking he has captured the bee inside, but forgets to zip it, from where the bee escapes. He then sets the trap in a microwave oven using peanut butter and gets the bee inside. Meanwhile, Cupcake has also tasted the butter and starts farting as Nina calls Trevor to inquire about the alarm and the dog. He gets rid of the call and the bee by putting the oven in the garden instead of killing the bee. However, Trevor tries to chase the door before the bee could get back, until he locks himself out while the bee enters. Trevor realizes that Cupcake has a smart collar to unlock the pet door, so he brings a cat in his sight and gets the collar. While he tries to enter, he gets a push from the chasing dog by which he gets over the dog feces and sees the bee as well. He chases the bee with a kitchen mixer however the machine rolls into the decoration piece. He follows the bee in the chimney but is again interrupted by the officer, who informs him about the burglars operating in that area. Jess calls Trevor to remind him about their daughter's plan, he shares with her about that bee which she thinks does not matter. He tries to clarify he cannot meet Maddie until next week as he is busy with his job. Trevor enters the master bathroom and takes shower with a pleasant music. While enjoying, he is shocked to see the bee again and washes it out. He follows it in the master bedroom with a blow dryer, after which he traps it in the grand piano with an autoplay system. However, the bee still survives which Trevor now captures in a vacuum machine. Thinking that the bee should be in the dust bag, he burns it while practicing yoga. However, the bee instead comes out from the machine's pipe. Trevor now cleans up the house and alternately fixes all the mess he made, after which he gets a bear and goes to bed where Maddie calls him before sleeping, he shares he has planned for a campsite. The burglars break in by hacking the system and distracting the dog, but find out that all precious items are looking fake. Trevor overhears the noise and finds the bee in the toilet and he starts shouting for it. Trevor then locks the system, without knowing that burglars have broken in and are now hiding in the locked library. 
Next morning, the police arrive following a suspicious car outside and come to know that the burglars have been locked in for hours. So they are arrested and Trevor's statement is recorded in an inquiry where he clarifies not knowing anything suspicious. Trevor again sets a trap for the bee using different inflammable sprays and a peanut butter bread in the dog food cabinet, while keeping the dog away. However, the dog and the bee both are trapped and lose consciousness while Trevor uses the sprays. Nina, wondering about Cupcake, calls Trevor after getting an update from the police, to whom Trevor tries to satisfy. He hangs up Jess and searches for the vet, but the bee revives. As Trevor rushes to a vet in the car, he gets interrupted by the bee while driving. As he returns with the recovered dog, he damages the car in search of the bee. Soon, he realizes the damage and watches a video on the life of solitary bees and learns that the male bees are forced to leave their only homes by the female bees so they keep wandering around. In the backyard, Trevor works on his idea. He fixes a wooden showpiece, uses honey cans and mixes sugar with weed killer. The idea is revealed to be making a bomb. As he sets his trap and gets the bee in it, Trevor launches the explosion due to which the dog is trapped under the falling showpiece and the damaged car breaks out of the garage. Trevor, however, is shocked to see that the bee survived, he now sets the house on fire following the bee with a propane cylinder. The returning couple, Nina and Christian, witness all of this and charge him with 14 counts after which he is sentenced to three years imprisonment. Three months later, in jail, he overhears the burglars talking about Christian who paid them for the robbery and has claimed a fake insurance of millions of pounds. On Trevor's complaint, the police arrest Christian who was hosting an art gallery at his place. Trevor is released and rewarded and takes his daughter to a campsite. While having snacks, he again gets interrupted by a bee and once again tries to kill it. So this is how Man vs. B Season 1 ends. And if you enjoyed the story then please like and share the video, and also subscribe to Hollywood School for more film stories, you can also comment for the film story you want to see in next video. Thank you. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way As you fade away, yeah.